was the biggest simp of them all. So this little video here, this is AOC talking, right? Talking about how great Biden is. But in the tweet, because this came out yesterday, Kamala Harris will be the next president of the United States. I pledge my full support to ensure her victory in November. Now more than ever, it is crucial that our party and country swiftly unite to defeat Donald Trump and the threat to American democracy. Let's get to work. But that's not what you were saying in this video, AOC. And I'm going to say what a lot of these po folks aren't saying. I'm just going to say it. If you think that there is consensus among the people who want Joe Biden to leave, that Kamala, that they will support Kamala, Vice President Harris, you would be mistaken. And I'm gonna say that because if they're gonna come out and say all their little things on background off, off the record, but they're not gonna be fully honest, I'm gonna be honest for them. I'm in these rooms. I see what they say in conversations. A lot of them are not just interested in removing the president. They are interested in removing the whole ticket. Oh, my goodness. AOC, can you tell the truth or are you actually learning from Mama Bear herself? She's finally growing up. AOC is no longer a baby cub. She's now a big girl cub. She's ready. She's ready now to fight. She's no longer that little cub. She's growing up. You made Nancy, Mama Bear Nancy Pelosi, so proud. You are, you are on your path to becoming Nancy 2.0. These politicians can't tell the truth to save their lives. They are stuck. They are in a rut. They can't get out. The Democrats are stuck, stuck. And it's and it's and it's funny. It's funny to see so many people who built a name for themselves lose all credibility going to bat for Joe Biden. Van Jones crying. Joe Scarborough finally talking about Biden's age. Rachel Maddow going the full blown Trump derangement syndrome. You got Harry praising Biden and you got AOC saying one thing and tweeting out something altogether, something completely different. Don't you understand? These people are not serious people. They don't deserve your respect because they don't respect themselves. Radio station just censored the word devil. <laughs> Clearly, we are on a different level. I guess you wouldn't notice all the rolling boulders crashing past your shoulders when you're taught to shift your focus lower, scream at all the pebbles cheering on the bombers because you can't abide the rebels. But I bet you'll wring your bloody hands when all the dust has settled, when the last little limb is pulled from Gaza's twisted metal. Then you can say how you were led astray, and never once in all your days would you have knowingly supported all the genocide for which you clapped and prayed. But they baited you with unconfirmed blurbs about babies until you were filled with rage. Yet someone told you babies had been starving, bombed, and caged for nearly 80 years in Gaza, and you looked the other way. So regret, but make it fashion. Go and pluck that final petal off a hyacinth on Instagram for every kid they kettled. Every son that Israel imprisoned when they're little, that they tortured for a decade, then surprised with their acquittal. And when they got released and saw their parents and whatever siblings hadn't met the missiles, they stared right through their middle. Their eyes don't seem to focus, and their words are all but dribble, like they're pondering the darkest riddle. That is, how many false flags does it take to make humanity inhuman and uncivil, distorted by the revel? The crooked slant where Israel contorts into America, Biden bathing Bibi in a bloodbath in the bevel. I opened up my feed, and I saw children disassembled, turned some music on, and heard the station censor devil Imagine thinking Doja Cat's a threat to moral fabric in the single largest terror cell that ever felled a temple, that ever sparked a cleansing, that ever burned a market, that ever raped with bayonets or carpet-bombed apartments, that ever turned your water off and left you in the darkness, left you doing surgery on children while they're conscious, 
You sing the devil's praises every time you sing our anthem. You sing a hymn to him that watched us birth a million phantoms. You'll proudly wave his flag, and yet you will not name the devil? Well, clearly, we are on a different level. I can give you names. Shit, I'll give you several. They say the devil wears a different face for every general. Like a composite of the char he brought to fields of emerald and the wail of every childhood we made ephemeral. So who else has left the stain of blood on everything they touch? Who else can starve civilians and they don't so much as blush? Who else has paid for Gaza being flattened into dust? If there's ever been a devil on this earth, then it is us. That's U.S. What an ugly couple letters. Feeding shit and ignorance to those it chose to tether. From the river to the sea, both are slowly growing redder. For the devil that you know just knows you better. It knows every gut reaction it could ever make you feel. It knows fear is that which wakes you up and gets you on your wheel. It knows just the kind of story that will justify its war. And the scripts are wrapped for World War IV. So just imagine my surprise to give the radio a listen and to hear such pious morals out of Zionists and Christians that they'd take the devil's name and try to clip it from existence while they carry out his bloody business. You would wave a fascist flag and yet you honor not your Iblis? Name you not Apollyon? Hush you now your witness? Bleed the name of Belial till tongue is rolling listless in the man-made mouth of Mammon as Lamia's whispers listen. When carts are wheeling bodies through the cities that we crushed, and the very air is rotten with decay of all that was, who else would censor devil yet behave as Legion does? If there's ever been a devil on this earth, then it is us. U.S., but not a unity of souls more a mass of corporations turning houses into holes, turning people into puppets, turning puppets into mold, turning mold into nutrition bars worth their weight in gold because they're bombing every bakery and burning every field with phosphorus that never once has wanted for a meal. The devil wears a mask and it delights in the reveal, in that moment where the face is let to peel. We do not love the underdog. We do not cheer the rebels. We lust for all their blood until the dust has finally settled. Then pity just ourselves that we were so misled to revel. Proudly wave his flag, and yet we will not name the devil. <laughs>